Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the Lego Nexo Knights Runa's Rock, or I'm sorry, Runa's Lock and Roller. So it's like Rock and Roller, but it's Lock and Roller. So it's kind of play on words, but uh, basically what it is, it's a, um, a chariot slash um, jail cell or containment type cell. So that's the, that's the lock, and this is the roller part of it. So... Anyway, it comes with AA Ron. There's, oops, there he is. AA Ron. Queen Halbert. Um, can't remember seeing her in any sets yet. And then, of course, Runa. She looks pretty cool. So, anyway, bust this open. Check out this lock and roller. Turn this down. Very good. Alright, there's some rollers. And they look like rocks. Except it's a lock and roller, not a rock and roller. Alright, we got a medium sized sticker sheet. Um, it's, I mean, it's sticker sheet. This is actually the instruction sheet. Don't let me fool you. Um, there's no sticker sheet. Yeah. I'm always so used to stickers, I'm just making sure it's not somewhere in here. Yeah, we have no stickers. That's cool. I'm down with no stickers. All right, so we have three unnumbered bags. And then these um, rollers that look like rocks. We're loose in the box. Okay, so there's all of our large parts. There's a small bag of parts in the big bag. I will murder this bag and spill all the guts on the table right there. It's a very angry description of what I just did. Okay, this one I'll gently open and carefully distribute the parts on my hard building surface. And that's our last bag. All right, so get into these minifigures. A.A. Ron is first. So he's the green Nexo Knight. Not to be confused with a green ninja. He's got the cool giant smile. He's very happy. And then he's got a, a serious face. I feel like putting his serious face on today. And then the face mask piece goes like that. So that's him. He's got a Nexo shield. And a Nexo tile. It looks like a uh, like an angry gorilla. Some sort of slamming action or something there. Alright, so he does have a handheld weapon. Um, Alright, so here it is. So it's going to be a, uh, a little launching projectile style weapon. And we're going to put a trigger in here. Two of these little end pieces. Not sure what you call them. Then we have this bar that has the ball on the end. And the bar goes in, and then the ball kind of rests in that little opening. And then the trigger is pushed up when that bar goes in. And then we push the trigger, it shoots that piece out. Be careful with it. Don't shoot your little brother's eye out. They do give you an extra one. Because you will lose it. Let's be honest. It's not if you lose it. It's when you will lose it. You'll have an extra one. So there's Aaron and his full Nexo glory. 
try to stand him up off to the side. Got that. All right, next is Queen Halbert. I guess she's a new character. For the uh, next of Nights. I think they call this season three. There she is. Pretty basic, a lot of the golden armor pieces. And then she's gonna have a little weapon. Put these pyramid shaped one by one. I guess they're tiles, because there's no stud on them. So it's all flat. Maybe it's a sloped. Sloped tile, pyramid shape, maybe that's what they call it. Okay. So that's her and her weapon. Move this to the side. We have one more minifigure. It's the villain. It's Runa. And she's mostly black with this kind of a earth tone, sand blue type arms has the purple lightning bolts decorated on the the dress and the torso part and then she has this evil face double printed it's kind of like the angry face zoom in so you can see got the angry face turn it it's kind of got this uh evil grin I'm going to leave gonna leave the evil grin on. I like that face better than the angry one. And she's got her blue hair piece. And the hair piece wraps around. You can see it goes over the, the head. But it goes down the back and then wraps a little bit on the front. That's a pretty cool little hair piece. All right. So she does have a weapon we're going to build. So we start with this Travis brick. Put this printed piece on here. And we've seen this printed piece before. That was in some Ultra Agent sets. As well as, I think, a Guardians of the Galaxy set. Maybe. Maybe not. I think it, maybe I'm confusing with Ultra Agents, but there was a... Uh, a villain in Ultra Agents that used this little tile piece or dish, really. So that's her weapon. It's like a, uh, a staff shooting out or kind of harnessing lightning power and shooting it out. Very cool figure. All right, so let's build the lock and roller. Not the rock and roller, the lock and roller. Start with this Technic brick. Put that little tooth tile, tooth plate type piece on. Got these axles with a bushing, and that bushing will help hold that axle in place. Another one there. We have these smooth wheels that go there. Another thin bushing will hold those wheels on. Don't put it on too tight or else the wheels won't spin. So I always check the spinning of them to make sure they still spin after I put them on, put those bushings on. You'll know here, I'll push it on too tight and you'll see what I'm talking about. So that's on too tight and you can see when I spin it, it just goes a couple revolutions and it stops. If I pull those apart ever so slightly, you can see when it, when it turns, it goes a lot longer. So anyway, do that. Check it to make sure it still spins more than just one or two revolutions. Uh, 
All right, so these are Technic plates with the axle holes on the side. This four by four plate. And I'm looking for a slotted tile in golden color. All right, one friction pin, just one right here. And then a clip. Turn it around. Another one friction pin right there. The plate with clips. Another baby bow shape here. back around with these long sloped pieces. Two cheese slopes. Two chamfered corner bricks. with a bar on it goes here and two more baby bow shapes all right put that to the side we have a little sub assembly to make around and we have these claw pieces and these kind of bring back memories of like the Chima polar bear ice type figures everyone remembers Chima right all right let's not talk about that anymore Slope, bring it back over. Got our trans light blue claws. That will go right there. So I guess those friction pins, all they're doing is preventing this from folding down anymore. As you can see, it just kind of stops right there. All right, next portion. Start with this plate. It's actually a rocker plate. So we're making the, that's the head element. So these are kind of new little pieces. Kind of look like rock claw type parts. Actually don't look too bad. I'm actually working on a mock right now that these would look great in. But can't really use those yet. We gotta build all this. We have some purple flippers. They're gonna be used as the ears. I'm guessing. And then we have this piece with the horns in it. Mm -hmm. 
That'll go there. Guess these are meant to kind of fold back a little bit. All right, so you can kind of see how it makes a, a head or face type piece. This will be the front beak. Two exhaust pipes. All right, so that's gonna do it for the, I guess this is the roller. That's it for the roller. So now we're gonna build the lock. Bricks. Put an assortment of pins on both sides. And these are the friction pins with a stud on the end. door plate Just goes like that turn this over a couple more trans light blue studs two of the two by two plates That is one of our axles that we're going to put our rock wheels on. Build the other one over here. that to the side we have our trapdoor piece this is going to have four of these two by two round tiles turn it over this yellow bracket goes there this will snap on there like this piece prevents the door from going up anymore but it does fall through so let's continue on with the build these arched pieces and we have some slopes these little rock pieces on the underside we're going to put a one by two plate on each one and these are what's going to connect to those technic pins of the studs Axle with a stop, push it through here, push it through this thing. We have one more. This slides.
slides in there. So that's what holds the door open. So you pull that and the door drops. Push it in and it holds it open. So that's cool. Now we have another little sub assembly, some Technic pieces. This piece goes here, and that, that brown bar goes in that hole. You see it acts as a little switch to open and close that door. And of course it's going to move around until I have this thing completely built. We'll just manage it the best we can. Pretty sure I'll be okay with it though. Alright, so we have this. Large trans light blue rock piece. Goes there. of bricks. Have these window frames with a jail cell bar inside of each one. That plate, that plate, Have another frame. This one has a jail cell door in it. Put a trans light blue stud to use as a doorknob. This will go on the back side up there. Large wedge plate goes there. Underside, we have a plate. This little piece, a little micro wheel. And we have our large rock pieces, rock, rock wheels. top of this, the instructions just show these slopes kind of at a weird angle. Have these purple bat wings. Oh, we have one of these things. I haven't seen one of these in a while. So this piece has a Technic pin on the end, which you can attach to a Technic pinhole. A bar, and then it has a stop, and then it has more bar. I was actually going through my parts the other day and I had a, I have a bin of these and I only have about 12 of them in there. And I was looking at it and I was like, wow, I haven't got a new one of these in a while. And then as soon as I say that, it looks like I get one. So that little thin left arm also hits the 
the blue piece and it prevents that little switch from going too far. Okay, so this cool black Nexo shield. We have the, looks like a flaming ball and chain. And this will attach to the Technic pen at the top. Alright, so we'll bring over the, the roller portion and these smokestack pieces will clip on to the clips there. You can see it creates that nice little chariot style piece. We have a couple clips on the sides of the vehicle that we can put our accessory pieces because the way this plays out is Runa is riding in the front part and then this rear chariot type piece is where Queen Halbert is held captive. And there's no studs or anything in there that kind of holds her in place, so just shove her in there, I guess. And then the play feature is uh, um, Aaron or whoever else is coming to save the day will either shoot something or fly by and push that little lever. And you can see she falls out the back. So I don't think it's really meant to be a, a trap door. It's more of a, a play feature for helping her escape. So anyway, that's it for this one. There's quite a few extra pieces. It's all small stuff. No big deal there. I'm going to eject her so we can show everything here at the end. So once again, another cool Nexo Knights vehicle. The figures are awesome. A lot of cool printing on them. Runa is pretty cool. I like the, the blue hair. And then the uh, lock and roller piece. So there's a lot of a lot of extra sheets in this instruction book. I guess it just happened to be the way it laid out. And they, they have a pretty interesting graphic here. I'll quickly show you. It's kind of this panoramic shot of all of the current wave of Nexo Knight sets. So, I'll be getting all of these. I have most of them already. I think there's one or two that I'm missing. Um, so you will see them all built here. I've already built some of them. So if you miss those, check out the link down below. It's a link to all of my other Nexo Knight build videos. So um, click on that and you can get more Nexo Knights in your life. Also uh, subscribe, check out my other videos, check out all my Lego build videos, including Nexo Knights, but a lot more, including Ninjago and City Friends, Creator Technic, you know, all the, all the major themes. So thanks again, and we will see you in the future.